children we are getting back to the lesson about greenland it's lesson number 5 the arctic region page 248 the lesson was completed in the last class so let's get us started with the quest answers that is the exercises on page 253 253 tick the correct answer one greenland lies north of the arctic circle two Huge lumps of ice that float on the ocean are called icebergs. 3. The Inuit live in igloos. 4. Blubber is used as fuel. 5. The Arctic region is often called the land of the morning sun. B. Match the following. Fox, fur, blubber, fat, igloo, huge block of ice. 4. Sorry, igloo, snow house, four, iceberg, huge block of ice, five, harpoon, hunting weapon. I'll say it again. Fox, fur, blubber, fat, igloo, snow house, iceberg, huge block of ice and harpoon, hunting weapon. C. Write T for the true statements and F for the false statements. 1. Greenland is the largest island in the world. True. The original inhabitants of Greenland are called Inuit. True. Greenland is very hot throughout the year. False. Potatoes are grown in Greenland in summer. True. In winter, the chief means of transport in Greenland are sledges pulled by reindeers. True. Next page. Quest answers. Answer the following questions. Where is Greenland situated? It is situated in the Arctic region. 2. Why is Arctic region called the land of the midnight sun? Now, during summer, it has 24 hours of daylight. The sun is there always. There is no night. So that is why it is called the land of the midnight sun. Because during summer, it is 24 hours daylight. There is no darkness. The sun is there always. 3. Describe the dress habits of the Inuit. Now, the dress habits of the Inuit are they wear warm clothing to keep themselves uh, warm because it is very cold in Greenland. They have uh, coats made of animal skin and animal fur and their coats have a head covering, a hood to protect their heads from the cold and uh, they also wear uh, long boots made of the skin of seals that keeps the feet warm. Describe an igloo. Next question is describe an igloo. Now an igloo is a house made by blocks of ice that is cemented together. And these igloos have no openings because if they have openings, the cold air comes in. There is no point. It will be freezing cold inside the house. And animal hides on the floor. You have the animal hide or the skin is spread on the floor to keep the floor warm. These are the houses used by the Greenlanders. Next one, fifth one, describe the climate of Greenland. It is very, very cold and uh, very summer is there, but during summers you have the midnight sun. That is, sunlight is there for 24 hours, so the land is called the land of the midnight sun and rainfall is very, very little. Next one, life skills. Sedu and Simran have been selected as part of a research team to explore the North Pole. What skills will be important for them during the expedition? So tick the answers. Learn about ways to stay warm. Yes, you have to because they are going to a very cold place. Two, learn how to work in a group. Only two of them, so that is not required. It is only between two of them, so that's not a group. If there are more than two or three or four people, then you can say it's a group. Third, learn about cooling techniques for the body. They don't have to cool themselves. They are going to a very cold place. Fourth one, estimate the amount of food and water needed for the trip. Yes, they have to do it because they need to know for how many days, how much of water and food they need. Next one, know the type of problems that can occur in such climate. They have to be aware of what problems may arise when they are on such a trip. Next one, learn about medicines for simple ailments and different types of first aid. So maybe out of a sudden they fall sick or they fall down and get hurt or get bruised, they have to know what is the different types of first aid that they have to use for sudden ailments and also for the cuts and bruises. Learn how to keep a diary or a logbook. 
that is very very important they have to keep a record of all that is happening in a day so that they can produce it uh, when they want to their teacher or even for their reference later on in uh, wherever they need it with that we come to the end of this lesson your homework will be to do a b and c and d in the school uh, notebook and send it to the school whatsapp number thank you